And we got to be realistic about this issue. The young people, they want what the old people got. They see Pops, he got a wife or two. <laughs> he might not have the stability or the ability to deal with a wife, but he, gonna, he want a little girl. He want a little honey on the side. <laughs> a little haram honey. And, and we are telling him he ain't ready for marriage. And we're not going to support him in marriage. Since he didn't finish school, and since he ain't do the job we want him to do, and since he ain't doing what I told him to do, don't get married. So what you telling him to do? You laying down with your wife every night, or going to visit your other wife on other nights, what you think your son doing? He grown man just like you are. You have to facilitate what the young people need. Make a room. If your son has a room in your house, let him go get him a wife and bring that wife in his room, in your house. Better for him to have a, a wife and you and your wife take care of them until they get themselves on their feet than for him to go out and deal with the haram. And the same thing with the daughters. How come the, young, how come the brothers don't want to give their daughters away? He looking for Prince Charming to come. <laughs> he looking for that brother who got a good job, brother who got a good education, the brother who gonna spend 10,000 on the dowry, 10,000 on the apartment, 10,000 on, on Pops too. <laughs> And Pops want the 10 grand, he want the 10,000 before he even paid a dowry. So the young brother, he can't come up with that, that 30,000. So what's he gonna do? He can't get married. So the young sister, what happens to her? She looking, he looking. And when moms and Pops is not looking, they hooking. <laughs> Then you got a you got a Ibn Haram that comes. You got a little Haram baby that comes, and everybody make it a secret for a little while until it's apparent to everybody. Then they got the, then they had the Walima, a Haram Walima, because the fact is the baby is innocent. The baby didn't do nothing wrong. So then you got this cycle of hypocrisy and who ha what happened because we didn't follow the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said when the when the man gets to an age of responsibility he should marry didn't he say that sallallahu alaihi wasallam and even he performed a marriage one time when a man didn't have nothing but some ayats of the quran and another time the man had nothing but some slippers he said give that to her for a dowry if she'll accept it of course I'm not going to give my, my daughter to none of you guys with no slippers. <laughs> but this shows the sunnah, the practicality of the sunnah. All these young men who are 14, 15, 16 years old, if they are responsible, we got to start thinking about marriage for them. And these young girls who are 13, 14, 15, if they are responsible, put them in the house of that father or put them in the house of the other father and let them get married. You save them from zina.